in our world, there's motivated, energetic, ambitious people, and then there are lazy, lazy, lazy turds. You can either be one or the other. You cannot be both. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the science that White Room uses for unlimited motivation. And if you find yourself feeling lethargic, if you find yourself being unmotivated, you find yourself not being able to do the work that you know you want to do, I'm going to tell you guys how to fix that so easily. But how should you guys know this works? How do you guys know that I'm not just bullshitting you? Well, just look at my channel. I've posted over 300 videos and I started one year ago. And it comes down to four locks. If you unlock all four of these locks, you will unlock the white room level of motivation. So make sure to learn and understand all of them. There's a dopamine lock, there's tummy locks, there's purpose locks, and there's garbage locks. So if you unlock these four locks in yourself, you're going to stop procrastinating, you're going to stop being so lethargic, and you're going to naturally want to get things done, and you're going to be a lot more ambitious by default. So if you're trying to accomplish things with these things still locked, you're going to go through hell and I don't see how anyone can be successful without fixing these things first. And even if you are successful, you could be 10 times more successful. If you fix these things, so what are they? Well, you have to just look at why you get lethargic and why you get non-ambitious people in the first place. So let's first address the dopamine lock. The reason for this lock is because something in your body is driving you in a different direction. Some part of your body, some part of like how your brain, the chemical makeup of your body is working, is going to say that we don't want to do the work. So you have to address those things first. One of the reasons why people can't get anything done and cannot move forward in any of their goals is because of how the dopamine is released in their brain. So look, long story short, what you need to realize that is that every time you look at your phone the way your phone is designed is almost like a slot machine every time you open it up there's a new thing going on there's something new or interesting and that's how a slot machine works is by giving you different results every single time you open it up now the same thing applies to video games like world of warcraft the game is engineered to give you dopamine hits as fast and as effectively as possible and you get used to that hook and that's basically applies to every other video game as well and the way your brain works is like a neural network it's like ai and how ai works is that it tries to get to point a to point b in the shortest form possible now if you think back about back in like the caveman days getting to point b required a lot of work you had to go to hunt you had to go i don't know like chase a female or a male you had to do a lot of things to get that dopamine release and so because of that ability you had to be ambitious the ability to work on something that doesn't deliver instant results wasn't that hard to do because that was the only way so when you're addicted to your phone when you're addicted to video games when you're addicted to drinking when you're addicted to anything that allows to you to release dopamine without earning it very quickly which is almost every addiction even at like the lighter ones like using your phone it's going to rewire itself to say that this is the this is gonna rewire your brain to say this is like the direction we want to head in and it's going to reject anything that releases dopamine slower not because you were a bad person or not because you were lazy it's because your brain is just like an ai it's trying to get to point a point a to point b as fast as possible so if x releases dopamine faster which is phones television anything that doesn't have a delayed release on dopamine your brain's gonna say go this way go this way so the first thing you can do is make yourself a lot more ambitious and work with a lot more purpose and want to actually pursue the goals that you've been sitting around not doing is that you should separate yourself from anything that allows you to get unearned dopamine hits you want to train your brain and adapt your brain to go for the maximum resistance you want to train your brain to do the hard things and the only way you can do that is by stop providing your brain with easy things to gravitate towards and i've made like so many videos on this so i'm just gonna go to the next one so next you gotta unlock your tummy lock what i mean by this is that the number one drain of energy in your body is digestion I'll tell you straight up, if I eat a big meal, if I go and eat like a lot of meat, if I go eat like well like any type of like big meal, 
Honestly, I will get lethargic and slow. After, I will not want to work, I will find like doing a lot of tasks I normally do easily, I will find them burdensome and annoying. One of the things I noticed is that if I conclude my digestion clear while I'm working, that allows me to put a lot more focus into a task and be a lot more ambitious. I cannot do anything at all if my stomach is full, especially the next thing you have to understand is that sugary food, processed food, bad food, and look, I'm not Mr. Pro Health for the sake of being pro health. The reason I'm pro health is because if you put all those things in your gut, your gut has to get rid of all those toxins and has to get rid of all that crap that's inside of you and that takes a lot of energy to process, hence you're not able to do anything and hence you're lethargic, you're slow and you're not have any motivation to do shit. For example, if I go eat a bag of sour cream and onion chips, the next day or two, my brain will be foggy and I won't have the same motivation to work now. You should also look into eating a low inflammation diet because what happens is basically brain fog is essentially is that lethargic feeling you feel. Your body basically gets constricted, it gets puffy. Have you ever seen people who have puffy faces? They're all red. And stuff like that is again, your body has to work and get rid of the crap and the only way around this is not putting that crap in your body so the next thing is going to be purpose locks i'm talking about this one third because if you don't fix the dopamine locks as i talked about first what's going to happen is that these purpose locks are not going to be correct you're going to get obsessed with the wrong thing for example it's very easy to get obsessed with a game like for example valorant it is very easy to get obsessed with things that are based around triggering dopamine easily once you fix that problem the next thing you need to realize is that your brain is going to gravitate towards certain tasks more than the other you need to realize that if you don't find fulfillment and purpose from the things you are doing it's almost impossible to hit those level levels of people like bill gates they see him sleeping underneath his desk when he first got started they see him working 15 to 16 hour days you see people like elon musk doing the same Either something's wrong with them, or they just have something you don't have. They just have a purpose. Anyone's capable of doing this. It's just hard to find that purpose, and so you should just think back. So my best advice to you is to think back to those moments in your life where you could do something for 12 to 15 hours straight, and that can basically tell your kind of personality type, and pretty much I believe that your purpose will just come to you, so just keep on living life. Finally, the last thing, and this is the hardest one for some people, which is the garbage locks. It's identifying things in your life that are garbage. The hardest part is that a lot of things in your life that are garbage, or I'm just gonna use the word distractions, you really, really enjoy. For example, it could be playing video games with your friends. You may have the best memories ever playing games with your friends. The reason you need to get rid of all these things is because those things separate you from that purpose part of yourself. And once you realize that purpose part of yourself, and it doesn't need to be business, the best way for you to unlock almost limitless energy and willpower is then to remove all the things that are blocking that. And what I'm saying is that if you want to truly be ambitious and have a lot of energy and be able to work on the goals that you want to work on, you have to get rid of all the stuff that are separating you from them, at least for a period of time. And you really have to realize what's actually important to you because if you don't sacrifice in your life the things that you care about, the goals that you have will become the sacrifice. So if you unlock all four of these locks, you'll open the door to unlimited motivation. So that's it for the, today's video. Join the one year white room program, special exams, classes A to D. Just do the test in the description to join. And yeah, peace on the street.